Alex Trebek was also, uh, he kind of dropped some news. So when I heard this, actually I heard it when we were taping the Chip Chipperson podcast. Chip last broke night. the news. Yeah, I had Although no idea. It'll be Sunday before anybody hears it. Yeah, I mean, it'll be, we'll all be acting surprised when it comes out on Sunday and people go, yeah, this is from five days ago. Uh, but Alex Trebek jumped on Jeopardy last night and made an announcement that shocked the world. He, the way he does it, too, what a pro. What a pro. 78 years old, what Dude, a pro. I can't believe that he's seven. I didn't even know for sure if he was still, because I knew he was retiring, so I didn't know for sure if he was still doing new episodes of Jeopardy or not, but he is. And apparently he's got time left on his contract. Three years. But he does not come across as a 78-year-old no. man who's no. sick. He comes across the same way he came across when he had that mustache. That's right. You know? So here's uh, Alex Trebek last night making his announcement on Jeopardy. Hi, everyone. I have some news to share with all of you, and it's in keeping with my longtime policy of being open and transparent with our Jeopardy fan base. I also wanted to prevent you from reading or hearing some... Could you pause for a second? Since when is Alex Trebek open and transparent with the Jeopardy fan base? He just sits up there and reads questions. Who the fuck knows anything Maybe about Maybe he's Alex made Trebek? announcements before we haven't paid attention because we're not part of that fan base because we're stupid. Oh, because the questions are too hard for us? You bet they are. Right. Give me like, potent potables for 200 and then I tap out. That's right. I get excited. I'll turn on Jeopardy and I'll just take out the categories. And more often than not, I'll switch the channel. But every now and then you turn it on and they're like, Tom Hanks movies. And I go, okay, yeah. here we go. I love when they do categories that guys like me know yeah. the answers to. Sure. Because usually... Homosexuals. That's not what I was referring uh -huh. to. Because usually, if it's like Tom Hanks movies, all the dorks that are actually playing Jeopardy, they don't know anything about movies. They've They're been reading all. books all the time. That's right. So I feel smarter than all of them. You should. Because I'm just guessing big and league of their own for every single answer. <laughs> More often than not, I'm, I'm right. Yes, Philadelphia, they never... They never get that. They didn't see that one. No. They're too busy reading about what actually happened. They don't know sure. there even was a movie. Okay, here's Alex. Or, or inaccurate reports regarding my health. So therefore, I wanted to be the one to pass along this information. Now, just like 50,000 other people in the United States each year, this week I was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. Now normally Eesh. the prognosis for this is not very encouraging, but I'm gonna fight this and I'm gonna keep working and with the love and support of my family and friends, and with the help of your prayers also, I plan to beat the low survival rate statistics for this disease. Truth told, I have to, because under the terms of my contract, I have to host Jeopardy for three more years. So help me, keep the faith, and we'll win. We'll get it done. Thank you. The what audience a could have given him pro. He could have given him a bigger laugh. He's trying to give him a joke while he's announcing uh, to the world he has stage four pancreatic cancer. Whew. Give him a chuckle. Stage four. How many stages are there? Four. Shit. And do they start with the highest? No, they don't. They start with one. <sighs> you know oh, what? Depressing. Listen to that attitude, though. We could all learn a lot from Alex Trebek. That's the attitude that everybody should come in. If this guy has stage four pancreatic cancer... And he's sitting there going, I'm going to fight this thing. I'm going to be the one that survives so I can keep hosting Jeopardy. What do the rest of us have to complain about? Well, he's 78. I mean, he said at one point, I guess there was a, uh, a, um, an interview with him where he said recently, hey, look, it didn't happen when I was 50. Like, he's like, you know what? It's my time to go. It's my time to go. What is the survival rate for pancreatic stage four? I know Patrick Swayze had. I think so. I think that's it a is. Terrible it's terrible. Not good. It's no, not good at all. No. Fucking terrible. And I don't know much about it, but I I read that shocker. The uh, what? What does that mean? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I read that the symptoms are so like not there that by the time you get diagnosed, it's at stage four. Ow. Oh, the survival rate is about three percent for five years. Three percent, and that's to survive for five years, mm -hmm. meaning that. After five years, it gets even lower. What are the... Um, I would imagine, right? That's... I mean, there's no cure. What does stage four mean? Let's go to that. Because whenever you hear stage four... At the lower, Troy, it says Alex Trebek's pancreatic cancer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you... Stage four cancer means that the cancer is spread or metastasized uh, from the pancreas to another part of the body, such as the liver, lungs. Yeah, stage four means that it's pancreatic cancer, but now it's spreading through your body, uh. which it gets real hard to zap. When it starts moving to all the different parts. And it's a hard one to get in the early stages. Yes. All right, there he goes. Most, 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 you diagnose once it's reached stage four. Fuck. Yeah. What's he going to be on TV after he's doing chemo? 
Yeah, at that stage, the tumor cannot be treated with surgery. I don't know. If he looks as good as uh, that comedian Quincy Jones looked after chemo, I don't That's think true. there's any reason to be off TV. That's true. You know, Quincy Jones was on Ellen with his beard after chemo. There's no screening test. This cancer is particularly deadly. 9% of patients surviving, five, okay, 9%. Stage 4 of the 5 years, only 3%. Wow. He's at stage 4. No, I know. Fuck. Well, you know what? You Some, can't test for it at all? Well, I'm sure you can, but you just... I mean, who goes into their doctor and goes... I would. I'd well, pay, now? <laughs> yeah. I'd pay for a test. But there's so many things like that to check for, right? Like, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's a long list of diseases and sicknesses that people get that you could go in and say, hey, doctor, check me for all of these, but they're expensive and take forever. And It's worth doing if you have the money to do like every couple of years or whatever. I mean, again, pancreatic. Sure, definitely. I'm not, I'm not saying that people shouldn't check for pancreatic cancer, but I get why it just doesn't come up. And most doctors, if you don't have any sort of signs of weakness or anything, if you appear to be a healthy person. Thanks. Well, you wouldn't know. Let's go to the 10 do's and don'ts to not reduce your risk of stuff. cancer. That's just for you. I mean, that's not even for... For the audience, too. They're all listening. Oh, the I don't have cancer. You're just scared. <laughs> yeah, I am. Fuck. God damn it, man. You're a selfish guy. You hear this about Alex Trebek, and you start worrying about yourself But everybody does, that's what everybody does with sickness. We start worrying about cancer. It makes you think about stuff you don't always think about. 